Oh, hi! I'm Maris. This is Gamer Quest. How y'all doing? It is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it is time for some Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, and then tomorrow, we will be live during the day with uh, some first looks. Try to do at least four of them. Maybe more. Maybe more. We'll see. Hopefully. As long as I don't have anything crazy going on. So, um... What are we going to do today? Uh, as always, Grimbone is going to come along with us because obviously it, Grimbone, Grimbone has been playing longer than I have, but I mean, we've both been playing for a while now. Um, Grimbone's been playing since it went live, since before it went live persistent, which was, I think, two years ago or something like that. Oh, I'm sorry. It went live persistently three years ago. He's, so he's been... Yeah, it, it's, he's been playing for pro at least three years previous to this. Um, but all these quests that they added in with some of the virtue armor and things like that are new. Some of the areas are new. So we're going back, we're checking it out, and we're doing all that. So we're going to start out in Janiford. Um, we've got a couple quests to hand in there, which should give us some of the virtue armors that we were working towards before. And then uh, we're going to head over to Sunless Barrens. And that is going to give us, I believe, a love piece. We have to uh, find an NPC in there. So let us get into it and get over. And like I said, we're already in Jennifer, ready to go. So let me switch on over. There we go. Let me just see something real quick. I just want to check here, make sure. I believe... These are... Alright, so... Grimbone, you have the Broken Echo Steward and Reliquarium Curator. Okay. So let's head on... Oh, oh. Let me take this... Yeah, you got him. Okay. Alright, here we go. The... Where's the... The library's in the center of town, if I remember correctly. This is the Raining Jennifer download pack. <laughs> uh, um, where is the library? Over here, right? Yes, here we go. And it was off to the side. Whoop. Uh, oh, there she is, there she is. Is she asleep? Son of a gun. She's asleep. Alright. Well, let's give her a couple minutes. That's odd. New patch coming out Thursday. Oh, new patch coming out.
She's loading. Oh, there she is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give it a second. I want everything to get loaded. I usually blue screen when there's a fan issue. And then when I try to restart, it's like beep, beep, beep type thing. And it's like, ugh. Gotta get a new fan. Gotta get a new fan. That's on the list. We're checking Steam. Updating Steam. Terrifying installation. So, funny thing about this coffee, Grimbone was telling me about this this coffee, um, like bulletproof coffee or something like that, and um, what you call it? It supposedly like wakes you up, makes you feel full, like you know, it, it's like a fatty coffee. It's the one with the butter in it. So. I had to do some errands today, get some stuff done, and I um, end up by this place that sells, in the window it says, Bulletproof Coffee. So, I went and picked it up. Unfortunately, it is not, it is Bulletproof Coffee, but unfortunately it's not the one with all the butter in it and everything like that, so... Give it a minute, I'm waiting for Steam to finish loading in so I can log in. But yeah, I mean, it's not bad though. This just has milk in it. Usually I like heavy cream in my coffee if I'm not going to put sugar in it, but it's surprisingly smooth. It's a dark, dark, deep, dark coffee though. Which is odd because I usually don't like dark roasts, but it doesn't taste like dirt. Like, I hate super dark roasts that taste like dirt. You know what I'm talking about. It's like... Bleh. This is like in the realm of brewing espresso, which is a very dark roast, as a cup of coffee. It's like that smooth black coffee. It's like as black as my hair if there's no milk. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. As black as my soul. I always want to, like, dance to this song. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, we're Dawn. So is... There she is. Hello, my sweet. Um, I'm going to all right. What am I giving her? Reclamation unit parts. There we go. Give items. Cotton cloth leggings of truth plus two. Bam. There you go. Um, it was, I clicked help. Yeah, help. Or job. And then the help that's in, okay. All right, so there we go. So those are the cotton... Cloth leggings of truth. If you go back a couple, a couple of um, streams on YouTube, you'll see where we started that out. You pick it up from here, and then you have to go to a bunch of other zones because it's a whole uh, line of quests. So, it might help if I equip my uh, swords again. I just realized that. All right, so that's good. Oh, those look nice. Oh, those look really nice. I love the color of those. They've done such a good job. Like, the blue on that is so beautiful. And let me go into first person here. 
You can actually see the texture on everything. A lot of work's gone into this. The Book for Truth. I like that a lot. That's a beautiful set. That is a really good looking set. All right, so now we have this quest over this way. Turn to Broken Echo Steward. Okay. I believe this is actually another Virtue Armor piece, if I remember correctly. Oh, hold on a minute. We have this. So this is this is the quest to just kill Nephis, which we already have. No, no, no. I just wanted to stop. I think the guy's in this building for Nephis. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it might help if I grab the buff. Ooh, I went for a swim. What's up, Shroud of the Avatar? How are you doing? Alright, let's get the justice buff. For the truth buff. Truth. What do we got? Negative 5% magic fizzle chance. That's what Grimbone needs. Grimbone's in plate. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see here. We are going to find this gentleman over here. Yes. The, uh, wyverns did not make it in. <laughs> but that's alright. Oh, it's this guy. He's underneath us. Uh, we have to go around, Grim. Yeah. Oh, no, are they in? They're making it in? <laughs> Grimbone, <laughs> Grimbone says he wants to give him the deets on uh, what the taming's going to be at. He's at 127 or 128 or something like that. 128. He says he needs to know. He must know. Where are we going? I'm so lost right now. Oh, here we go. This is the guy. Yes, this is the guy that's like under the waterfall. They say, um, he'll be fine, I think. I'll be fine. Yeah, they think. Oh, he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> he needs, he goes, I need ten more levels. <laughs> uh. All right, this guy, yes, they're under here. Oh, oh. There, there he is, Bemis. What's up, Bemis? Alright, so this is Return to Broken Up. Alright. Maybe did we do this? Just send us some whiskey. I thought there were. Well. I mean, we could send you some whiskey for the telethons. No <laughs> whiskey's gonna be done in four days, he Grimbone says. Actually, mine should be done in three days. His will be done in four days. Alright, so I guess we got this guy already? Maybe I'm missing something? Ah, yes. This is called... It says, Return to Broken Echo Steward. My husband.
Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Heat map this, so it's like this, the virtual shrines. Did we finish it? I think. Unless we didn't get the item yet, maybe is this the one where we need to get um, the toenails from? Alright, so that's not a problem. At least we got the um, cloth leggings. Loverin Waverin's Love Whiskey, little known fact. It's the W's. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so we're going to now head out to Sunless Barrens and we're going to do some virtue questing there and get us some more fancy, fancy pants. Believe Tell it. Them, ask them, um, shepherd crook for episode two horse mount stretch goal. We need a shepherd's crook. Uh, Grimbone says we need a shepherd's, uh, shepherd's, a shepherd's crook as the as episode two stretch goal. No, no, the mount stretch goal. Oh, the mount stretch goal. For the mount stretch goal. Bludgeon. A bludgeon. So Grimbone can beat animals that he's shepherding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so crook game, is. Staves are bludgeon. Oh, staves. Yes, yeah, staves are bludgeon. They said, "Ooh, good idea." Tell them they can make a, a makeable one in game and an ornate one for online store. I'll buy the ornate one. When your shroud gets dirty, do you require the hand wash or is it spin wash? The shroud does not get dirty unless you're evil, and then it starts to get real dingy looking real quick. Grimbone is is a nice guy, so his is white. He says his truth's a little down. Early in the game, I was a bad yeah, er, early in the game, I think we both were evil. <laughs> but you know, that's that's how we roll. Well, yeah, I really couldn't resist the vegetables in town, especially because I couldn't buy like like uh, what was it, carrots? I couldn't get carrots, so I had to steal them from people in town, like. It was just forced bad virtue. Nothing, you know. I bet it was uh, planned to actually test the virtue system. To, like, make people steal stuff. Let's make them all evil. Let me... Whee! Alright. What's up, Dark? Put it in a cobalt dryer. Electroshock it. We're going to Sunless Barrens, and we're going to look for some sort of NPC. This is a going to be a three skull, it looks like, area. Tier three. I wonder if the... Oh, uh, well, no. The um, Atavists is a, like a wandering thing. I was going to say, since this is I desert... Yeah, they're in the Grunvold over by Brittany. Or the area too. Yeah, with the um with the the uh, desert desolus is in. All right. Here we go. Let's rock. Again, I do have night sight. I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to ruin the beautiful colors of this. Um it'd be cool if night sight gave you more of the real color back instead of being greenish but it is what it is and I think the artwork's beautiful and there's been a great job done on it so we're gonna keep it even if it gets dark we're gonna keep it thank you for the follow cog whistle Ooh, low 80s inside well just to let you know the weatherman on one of the most recent weather things I watched said tomorrow here in New Jersey is sp supposed to be spectacularly humid. I'm not sure how I feel about something being spectacularly humid. I've never heard someone say that. So we're looking for a plunderer. Oh, this has all... I saw the guys are next to us, but this is a volcanic field. 
Yes, this was redone. We have not been here since the redo, so... Look at how cool this is. This is beautiful. But this looks like this would be the equivalent of, like, a, uh... Oh, no, it's quicksand. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm like, why Why am I not going? Oh, this looks slow. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Ugh. Oh, yeah, those screenshots for the new lighting and the new um, graphics for the new release. Holy bejeebus. Oh, wait, you're going to attack me? Oh, I thought you were a friend. <laughs> I see green, it's like, friend! Um. Like, really. That looks so good, it's not even funny. Come on. It, oh, look, cotton. Excuse me. Let's grab that. I'm wondering if the person is in here, because they say it's... it's They were saved from the plunderers, I believe, or there has to do something with plunderers. Probably. Or maybe on the beach. So I see oh, a little bit of water. Uh, how about I put my, at least the buffs on my swords here? There. Yeah, we can check them out. Alright, sounds good. Let me, uh, pick my cotton first. Easy cotton. Where am I at, anyway? Alright. Yeah, did you see the geyser when we uh, first came into the side of us? Uh, okay. Two guys in there, you said? Okay. So far, it's a lot of deco stuff. All right, well, that's fine. Um, I believe we need to go this way. Yes, towards the water. Ooh, there goes a meteor. Ooh. Oh, yeah, where is it? Where is it? It's somewhere. All right, today in Hawaii's update, <laughs> Fisher 8 is still, uh... This does look like Fisher 8. I shouldn't say that. Knock on wood. That's terrible. Volcanoes are pretty cool, though. Like, Mother Nature's awesome. Uh, do you need desert water to tame? No, you're good? Okay. Let's see if I get ahead. Make me some trophies. As if we don't have enough trophies in the house. Oh, 75. Swift gathering, nice. Hmm. What do we get? Blade speed, 81, nice. Um, let's check down by- I mean, we're gonna check the whole- the whole place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Look for any clues or anything like that. Any oysters I can steal. Come in, home surprise!
Turok, thank you for the follow. Welcome, adventurer. Turok 64, that's a darn good game. I actually got a, the press release. I was able to be on the press release for the uh, PC release of that. I was so happy. That game's so good. All right, no pristines yet. We shall prevail. Oh, salt. Is there a mask for this? Oh, there is a map for this area. This is a giant area. Oh, is that where we need to go? Uh, Grimbone, it looks like there's either a settlement or a big mine northeast from us. Oh, what's that? That must be, uh, there must be a puzzle on this thing. Oh, okay, there's a puzzle here? I'm guessing, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's head northeast. <laughs> oh, just walks by and is like clunk, dead. Why is my girl making like sounds of disgust? She's like, ah. <laughs> Well, cutting it up. Oh, meticulous. Can we go for three? Three. Oh, no. No, did not get three. Dagnabity. You're right. This does look really good. I can't wait for the art update, though. Uh, keep running. My phoenix will start chucking fireballs at him. Alright. I... Th there's gotta be a way to get in here somehow. Oh, oh, there's scorpions here. Or you could just jump over. <laughs> Alright, we were here, correct? Yes. Alright, so we have to... Will this do damage to me if I, we walk across it? Or if... Alright, let's see if the heat... Here, I got it. Let's see if the heat does damage. It does not. Okay. Ah, I think that's where we're heading. That giant door. Oh no, it's not a doorway. Never mind. <laughs> Here we go. This really is a good-looking zone. It's nice to come back and see, see all the new stuff. Oh no, quicksand. That's an exit. Alright, so this is definitely cold boldish looking. Alright, wait till Grimbone gets here. Grimbone's stuck in stuck in <laughs> in quicksand and is he's fizzling to get his uh dash cause he's in plate. <laughs> Come on, you sinking person in sand and all your plate. Alright, 
All good? Wow, this place is cool looking. Oh, 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 go, 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 keep running. Oh, this is Ebon people. Okay, so maybe, no, I don't believe, or maybe, let's clear the zone out. Because I know that the, the uh, NPC that we find has something to do with the uh, Ebon cult. I don't know if we have to kill them or what. Bandit Blade plus two. Oh, shoot. Listen. Me. Yeah, I made it. Come on, people. Hey, look at those impaled people. That's awesome. I think there's one other. Oh no, I guess we got him. Okay. Oh, the scorpions get them, okay. Oh yeah, there he is. There he goes, and there he dies. Alright, let's take a look up here. This place is awesome! Seven Midnights, thank you for the follow. Welcome, adventurer. Oh, 25 gold. That guy was high rolling. All good? Let's go. another one of these things down on the rocks down here get over here, get over here. harvest brimstone no oh, is it gonna be bad am I gonna like get a demon or something Grimbone's like go get it Shroud of the Avatar, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Demon's gonna spawn. Oh, sulfuric, a sulfuric ash. I use that for my phoenix. Faboosh. Alright. I'm gonna hear whooping butt. Whooping took us. Ah man. You and your plate. Oh, it gave through. Alright, sorry about that. Alright. I did not try to do it again. What? Are you, stop blaming me for you not being able to run, run through stuff. Oh, you fell again? You know what? Being mean to me. Did you get it? Sweet. Yeah. Reanimated murderer. Oh. We have skeletal friends here. <laughs> Ritual skull of despise. That's a quest item. This scene looks really scenic. This scene is beautiful. Did you get one, Grimbone, or no? 
yeah, let's keep looking around because we're still looking for an NPC to give us a quest to kill these people. I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We have to get some like mystical, mystical leather. I want to say this is for the love pants. The love pants. Yeah, there's a reanimated dude. Dude! Let the pets attack it. Be super lazy. Let the pets do the work. Wonder who designed. Why doesn't the game look more like this? Well, here's the thing. You got it? A lot of the scenes are being redone. Are, and are in the process of being redone. This one, for instance, was redone. Sorry, I still have, like, a crazy post-nasal drip. It's making me cough. Um, so, they're going back and redoing tons of the scenes. Wait till you see the artwork. I don't know if you went and saw the pictures for the, uh, the new shaders and things like that. And the artwork, I think, coming out this patch on Thursday. It's gorgeous. Like, oh my god, how beautiful. So, you know, it's just... They're, they're re being redone. You just gotta give them a little bit. Because there's... What's there, like 500 scenes or something like that all together in the game? Or over 500 scenes? I'm not gonna say all of them need to be redone, but, like... That's a lot of scenes. Ritual Skull of Deceit. I got it again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We got some peeps over here. We they're hitting me with death spells that I have. I did fire and death. Yeah. Come there he is. Reanimated thief. Ritual Skull of Punishment? Okay. I got Ritual Skull of Dishonor. Oh, I'm sorry. I I have Deceit, Despise, and Dishonor. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll just keep going around. Yeah. Alright, I think we cleared this right now. still have to... Brimstone Fields, okay. We came up that way. I thought there was an NPC in here. Hmm. Where could this person be? The dog is snoring so loud. It sounds like there's a human. He's just like... It's like, oh my god. Right, close my map. Figure out how I'm getting out of here. Oh. oh, hi, friends. Hi, friends. Let me cast that real quick. Shablam. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, but we still have to, uh... Yeah, I know, but we still have to find the quest giver that's in the area. So, yeah, no, I know. We're, we're eventually gonna find the person. And blade plus two again. Oh, let me see if I got any supply. Nope. Okay. You haven't gotten any supply bags, right? No, no, I'm talking about just supply bags. I just checked. I have it. I'm just saying. Stone, but I'm good right now. Okay. Uh, oh. Woo! Why is this so hard? What the hell? That one's a little high up there. All right, so. I guess we'll just check the whole zone. Just kind of scan along the whole zone and look for this individual. Yeah, let me. We have more cultists over here. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, an NPC. I need help. I disperse and scorch the pottery across these barrens. I place inert sunless cloth within you over a short time. If you can gather the imbued sunless cloth for me, I will create vestments for my brethren to wear as as they slaughter the innocent, um, cults are bad, but the rewards are great. What kind of reward? I'll decide this. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think there's another, M that means the other NPC has to be around here. Yes, I said what kind of reward. He said it, 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 ha it remains to be seen or whatever. He'll see me after I do it. So, if that's the one guy we've got to find this other NPC. I want my virtue pants. I don't want no cultist stuff. Oh yeah, Shroud of the Avatar isn't dead at all. Hmm. That's death right there. F that's why I said Fisher ate before. Oh, what's this? Oh, is this the, uh... Oh, 
Ah, I see. All right, so what I get? I got a sunless cloth. So let's find these pots. There's somebody. You've got a visitor for me? Really? A lava golem? Come on. Multiple lava Oh, no, just one. Yeah. Sulfuric ash. Sulfurous ash. Um, I got the sunless cloth from a pottery jar, so we gotta find another jar for you to kick open. Oh, there's a big, here's one. And we got some golems down here. Kick that open and there should be a cloth inside. There you go, grab that cloth. That way when we find the NPC, you don't see that cloth right there? Oh, look at that! You got it? Oh, I can still grab it too. Let's have two of them. Let's be greedy. Well, the game is actually officially released now. So... Harvest coal. That'll save me some money. Oh, this dude wants to play. Can I dazzle you? Give me an old razzle dazzle! Alright, peace out. Alright. I like how there's like. Uh, grab it. I have two of them already. Okay. I like how there's bridges. I bet you it is hot as all hell. Alright, let's run up here, because, uh, like I said, there's a... There's a, uh, NPC that we're looking for that is not affiliated with the cultists. Hellfire Fingers, that's what it's called. Get out of here. Every release it does get better and better. Like if you've playing as long if you've played as long as Grimbone and I have played. Oh, here's the other NPC. I found it. Her it. Um every release it gets better. Like you can see the improvement. Trust me, you can see the improvement. So, like, we kickstarted um, Shroud. Grimbones, we have an Edelman. Um, you know, and the improvements have been, you know, every time there's improvements. So, alright. Evan Dawn, Sunless Barons, uh, Bay of Storms, Sunless Cloth. I'll steal the cloth for you. Ten pieces! All right, so we have two each so far. I guess we're... looting everything we possibly can. Yeah. Is there any over here, or is this just... Yeah. She's over here. It's a girl with a shaved head. She's an escaped prisoner. Yeah, the seven-day tr free trial is a really good thing to take advantage of. Also, it's double XP on the weekends for the whole month of July for Richard Garriott's birthday. So if you really want to level up some stuff quick and, like really see some real meaty stuff in the game definitely take advantage of the seven day free trial and make sure you you get a weekend in on there because uh it uh it's worth it i 
Oh, it's an unlimited day free trial. It's just capped. Got you. Thought it was seven days. But regardless, there's a free trial for you to check out. And again, do make sure you play on a weekend so you can check out some double XP age. Once you understand the game, it's, uh, you know, you, you realize how open it is and how much you can do. That's four for me. How many for you? You have to show your quest item yet. It's called Sunless. You have five? All right. I need six more. Grimbo needs five mo. I think there's one over here. Yes, yes. Oh. Let's get out of here. Oops. Her bones stunning the hell out of stuff. Um. There's a land bridge right here. Remember, if you want to go back and see some of the deco items we've gotten from questing or some of the other things we've gotten from questing so far, you can go over to our house in Esgard. Yeah. Top floor has a bunch of stuff on display. Um, before I log off, we'll, uh, we'll recall back home. And uh, All right, that's six for me. And, uh, whoop. Go take a gander. It's stiff. Show off our fat loot. What is this? We just got this, right? Oh. Yes. Seven, sweet. All right. Oh. All right, three more for me. We have a friend, hold on. We're pulling people all over the board. term fat loots. Uh, I think we looted that. Yes, we looted that. Get out of the way, Dark Star Scorpion. Taking up all the room. Making me walk slow. Here's our Ebon Dawn dude. Right around the corner. Here's one. This will be eight. Okay. Here's another one. I'm just gonna leave my thing open. Out the way. Nine, and that should be ten for Grimbone. I just need one more, and then, uh, where's the land bridge here? It's down here. Oh, you still need one more, too? All right. I was gonna say, I hope to God when I run over, <laughs> this is actually connected. <sighs> That's gonna suck if it wasn't. There is not one in there. Oh, you think? Let's try down here. 
Oh, I think I see one. Ten for me. Let us go hand this back in. Oh, you still need one more? You know, okay. That's odd. All right. Ten, yeah. Oh, huh, that's odd. Here. This is cool. Uh, here's one right here. Go get him, bird. Fire chicken. Bulwark of Earth, level 60. Shablam. Bulwark. Alright, so we got to go hand into. I believe we have to cross over here and she's up a little. And then I believe that should give us the leggings that we were after. Night, night. Thanks for stopping by. And also, if you play Shroud and you're watching and you want to have an extra person to teleport to on your friends list, feel free to add me. You can also add Grimbone if you want to. Escaped prisoners over here, so she must be around this corner. Oh yeah, here's the Ebon Cult dude. Really beautiful. I cannot wait for the new art to see this in the new art. Oh, the new shaders and stuff. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right, so she needs... Ten sun with cloth. Okay. I should talk to Prebin about making special footwear. South Majestic Forest. That's over by us. Okay. Um... This is the rpg s quest. Yes, the artwork is this upcoming release. Yes, that was very RP, RPG-esque. That's cool, though. I enjoy doing stuff. There's an exit right here, so we'll... We're going to have to go through Superstition Canyon, though. Oh, yeah, we can recall. We're calling. All right. We're going to recall. We're going to finish this, the rest of this, next week. Um, 7 p.m. Tuesday night. But let us recall real quick. So you can see what I'm talking about when uh, I say, uh, if you want to see some of the stuff that we've gotten from the Deco Quests and things like that in the beginner areas, you can watch the videos on YouTube. And then you can actually come to the house and see the item in person. Um, the Eye of 
I want to say Nax Ramis, but that's that's where Patchwork is named after a boss. Patchwork, our lovely beagle. Um, Naximus, Nax something. Oh yes, Grimbone. Grimbone had fun redoing the front because we bought the new hitching post, the uh, episode two stretch goal. So there's that beautiful hitching post right there. So we redecorated a little bit, changed stuff around. That's the vendor. And then let's head on in here. And, um, anyway, let's go upstairs. Whoop! So these right here, let me see if I can get them to do it. This is the Eye of Natural Ramus. So if I put it there, it goes. So this eye in this hand. glow green only when you first put them down it's a bug all this is the blue glowing stuff that we've gotten so far all this is the green blo glowing stuff and some of the books that we've gotten like that crazy weird tar book right there <laughs> that weird thing um but you can come check it out yourself we also have the teletype if you want to play some games and the banners we've gotten so far and we've got all sorts of telethon items to show off and all that good stuff. Here's some booze. Lovely, beautiful things. Death, death, and more death. Death, death, lots of death. So, and we are right in... Wow, what house. We have an underground, too. Um, here, let me go downstairs real quick, and then I'll head on out. But we are on the corner in Esgard little bit down from uh, main main area but you'll see if you look down the roads from the center of town you'll see one end of the road really lit up bright that's our end <laughs> and then here's we have the arena basement and uh, here's our uh, all of our crafting stuff these I believe some of these have um, they have pluses to uh, no no not these ones we didn't get that pledge but uh as you can see, we got some stuff going on. Arena basement. You can duke it out. I think Grimbone's going to put the chaos and something touchstones in these on each end. The onks. Or resurrection onks. But that's the basement. Again, if you're not sure where to craft anything or you don't want to go out into a pavilion or something like that, you can always feel free to come over to Asgard and, uh go into the basement the tar book we have 101 ways to use pitch and for Halloween we have the haunted gothic mansion or the uh, the beat up haunted mansion we'll have to uh, show that one day I'll uh cause I know I have to start putting more furniture in there it's a huge house so it's only kind of sort of half decorated but as I said this is the house bam let me see and then that's the center of town that big building right there in front of me is the uh, town hall so as you can see we're usually pretty lit up good down here and then we got that cool place just moved in Look at how cool. Damn! That's awesome. Anyway, so that will be it for tonight. We will finish uh, that up. At least we got the Truth Leggings. Cotton Cloth Leggings of Truth Plus 2, which were actually very beautiful. The colors are quite nice. Um, we will finish. the. Uh, this quest should give us, I believe, the Leather Leggings of Love. So that'll be fun. And then we will do some more Virtue Armor quests and have lots more fun so let me get out of here real quick let me get the music off do, 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 do. all right is there a sub fee for the game um no once you buy the game you have the game um how it works is 
You can buy a deed to put a house down in uh, the world or to play your own town, but yet pay tax on it. You can uh, choose to pay it a couple different ways. You can buy kodos with real money and pay it that way. I think you can pay real money for it. Or you can use gold, grind gold in the game and pay for it in gold without, you know... Well, for instance, once you finish, like, that shroud that Grimbone has on, that white shroud that Grimbone has on, that's a whole quest line. At the end of the quest line, you actually get a row house, or a row deed, um, to place your own house. If you go to the Oracle every day, and you do the test, and you get it correctly, the Oracle gives you 500 gold, that's pretty much your rent every day for that deed, so... Um, Grimbug says he's pretty sure that they're lowering the rent, so you'll have some left over. But still, you know that if you go to the Oracle every day and you get your 500 gold, if you have a row deed, you're, you can afford the tax on that every day, even if you don't go out and grind or anything like that. And what's really cool is that means everybody gets to own a house in the game. Even if you didn't um, kickstart it like we did to get our village lot and things like that that's tax-free... I have a, uh, a non-tax-free village lot that I won. I just don't have it down. We're, we're watching the, the uh, spaces next to us to uh, GTFO because we want a nice yard next to the house. But anyway, um, so and I think that's a thousand gold a day or something like that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you get a chance to own a house and a deed and all that good stuff. And uh, it, it is pretty cool. So I'll be back with more Shroud next week at 7 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. Um, tomorrow I will be live during the day doing some first looks. Um, so come back and join us when we're doing that as well. If you're watching previously recorded on YouTube, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching live, thanks for joining me. Have a fantastic night. Be good, be safe, take care. Mwah.